Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us. Well, the weather forecast for this week is dominated by high pressure, and it's not just this week, but it's this weekend and next week as well. So why bother even watching the video? Well, it's not straightforward. We don't just have dry weather solidly for the next 10 days. Some places have showers, some get a bit of wind, there'll be some frosts around. So let's try and make sense of it all. We kick off with the animated wind map, which shows this giant area of high pressure, which you can see in white and yellow. So, you know, it's pretty much the entire map. Low pressure is down here in the Southern Ocean, just brushing Stewart Island. Otherwise, there's really not a lot going on at the moment. But these winds coming out of the west, they'll be a little bit brisk in a few places, and they are bringing in a few showers as well. This is the wind map for Monday afternoon. You can see where the windiest weather will be. It's in the sort of ranges of the lower North Island and the upper ranges of the South Island, maybe a little bit around Fiordland and Southland and Cook Strait, where that westerly is a little bit stronger. But the areas in green, you know, they got pretty much light wind. So it's not a very windy day today, but you will still feel that westerly around. Now, temperature wise tonight, the departure from normal gives you an understanding that it's a much colder night tonight. Several degrees below average in a number of areas except for Southland. You're leaning the other way, you're going a little bit warmer, and that's because you've got that windy westerly blowing through. So Tuesday looks like this across the country, high pressure, huge high pressure coming out of Australia very slowly. It's going to take five more days to go from there to New Zealand. So as that happens, we're on the eastern or right hand side of the high and that means we've got the colder southerlies. The warmer northerlies they are on the left hand side of the center of the high or the uh, western side. So on the eastern side we've got the cooler showers coming through mostly on the west coast and maybe a couple just might come around the south otherwise not a lot really going on. As we get into Wednesday the high moves in a little further but the warmer airflow this northwesterly coming down and out of Aussie starts to move into the South Island. So this week certainly starts off cold, but it gets gradually warmer as we go through the days ahead. And look at Wednesday's departure from normal, warmer than average in a number of regions except the top of the country, which when you see the green coloring, that means it's just normal temperatures. So warmer than average along the southern and eastern sides of both islands as we go through Wednesday. Now to Thursday, those warmer winds, they get pushed further up the South Island, further into the North Island, the high getting sort of more focused around northern areas, but it's connected to more high pressure out there to the west. And so once we reach Friday, there's sort of a strange setup with two highs and a bit of a no man's land in the middle here. And that will trap a bit of a cold front that moves northwards on Friday with a cold southerly behind it, but a warm subtropical nor'wester in front of it. So both islands have quite different weather as we head in towards the weekend. And as we look at Saturday's setup, well, there's the high. So they've all sort of merged together into one big area of high pressure again, 1036 hectopascals. This side has got the cold southerly. So as we go into the weekend, it might be a little cold around the North Island with a few showers and colder southerlies. But as we go through the weekend, and as we go into next week, these warm subtropical northerly winds will be coming our way. So it's not going to be cold for very long. The next few days are the coldest, then it gets gradually warmer. The final map for you is the next five days rainfall from now through till Saturday. And the dark blue and the green and the yellow, that's the very start of the scale. This is just a good way to figure out at a quick glance where the heaviest rain is and where the lightest is. Some of you write to me and say you can't work out what it is at your house. That's fine. The point of this is to kind of work out which part of the uh, of the country you're in, considering you know where's the deep end, where's the shallow end as far as the rain's concerned. Once you work that out, you can just take a look at ruralweather.co.nz or even just weatherwatch.co.nz, and you can see your specific rainfall totals hourly and out for 10 days. So this just gives you a quick snapshot. Deep end down here, you're up to 50, 60 millimeters. Shallow end in the dark blue, that's just a couple of showers. That's all from me. We'll see you again on Tuesday.